Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for this video, I'm gonna show you my bullet journal because I got no questions about it since I show it on my Instagram. Uh, some stats for you. <laughs> I with this journal I started in January 2018, but I have previously tried to bullet journal. I think when I first started uni, which was like three years ago, I did try it out. And I don't know why it just didn't work out for me so I stopped doing it but now for some reason I just I'm really into it and I love it and I will stick to it though you know I don't need to plan stuff anymore uh, bullet journaling is my favorite way of planning I think the reason why I stopped uh, back then is because everything was so available online like all my classes and stuff was just you can just look it up and it was there but now that I'm a master's student, I have so many tasks that it's just easier to write it all down. But yeah, okay, anyways, let's just start. <laughs> uh, like I said, this is the Leuchtturm brand. I did take German in class, but I still don't know how to pronounce that. But this is the pocket size, um, which I really like. It is, um, I, don't th I don't think I want to get the A5 when I finish this. But we'll see. I still have a lot of pages left, but it is walking up quite nicely. So I have this washi tape, this is bullet journal, and then I have this label that it came with. So I just wrote my name, bullet journal 2018. In the back, I have some stickers. Are you probably wondering what this is now huh, when I first <laughs> started using this bullet journal I originally thought of using it in my travel notebook my passport so I cut off the elastic thinking I didn't need it uh, like two weeks later I <laughs> kind of regretted that but it's fine I had these elastic bands that I can just put on uh, well, uh, you will see that I don't how should I say it? I'm not saying that my bullet journal is minimalistic. It's simple. My way of planning is simple, but it's no way minimalistic because I do put a lot of stickers and stuff and photos. But yeah, anyways, uh, let's just show. Let me just show you. So I have you know, front page. Then I have my keys. Uh, it looks like a lot, but these are just the ones that really works for me I have uh, this 2018 uh, overview I did at first write it down and have it on two pages I just did not like that at all so I remember that I printed out a 2017 calendar for Emma studies and I thought I could do the same for 2018 so I'll leave her link down below and then BTS and then you will see I go directly into the planning I don't do the trackers or anything the only tracker I do is water tracker but I didn't even do that until this month uh, so yeah uh, I actually got my bullet journal on week 4 so these pages I just went back to fill in so I did, could start it in 2000 oh, so I could start it in January this is like my front page, title page, or what do you call it? A photo, um, month. And then because uni hadn't started yet, I didn't have a lot to do. So I just used one page for one week. And I try to color coordinate. I use like one color each uh, week. So I have blue, week two and three. And this is when uni started so you can see I needed two uh, pages now this is why I like bullet journaling because um, at the end of the day your bullet journal is just a notebook so you can fill it out however you want so with a regular planner you kind of restrict it to the boxes that are already in the planner so if you filled out that box you don't have more space 
but here for example on monday i only had one lecture i didn't have anything else to do so i didn't need to use that much space but on friday friday i had not that much but i still needed a more space so i could you know take that and <laughs> use more space because i needed to if that makes sense then we are in february again i don't do any trackers i didn't even have the monthly overview because i did use my hold on i use this for the majority majority of the time which was my midori monthly which i really liked but i just after using the bullet journal it was just a hassle to flip back and forth so i stopped using this and went just full on with my bullet journal week six as you can see it's not minimalistic but the way I plan, I think it's quite simple. And then I just add like stickers and washi tape and whatever. This is when I started using the water dragger. Week seven. I like to add photos and I use my my liners to headline the date. And this is when I stopped using my Muji monthly planner and wrote it in here. Uh, if you guys remember my very first video, my like very very first video, I had a Muji notebook, Muji grid notebook that I used as my planner and this was my setup. If uh, I have it like over there, but I don't want to take it out so I can take a picture and pop it up so you can see that it was my setup. But I changed this. <laughs> you will see. And then because um, I need a place to put like forward planning, I just use this. Basically I wrote the month and then I wrote the day with like I have work and stuff. I also use this as a notebook for <laughs> when we go on excursion for one of my lectures and um, this is like very rushed handwriting you can see like the difference between this and this yeah uh, week 8 and then we march we are march and this is what I do now so this is oh, like a journal sanctuary, I think I will leave it down below, uh, although by the time you watch this it's probably April, <laughs> but if she posts a new one I will leave her account down below, and it's really cute, and I left this page blank if I needed to write more, but I apparently didn't. And this, um, me, my friend Helena are planning on going to Amsterdam, so we just, or I just started writing down stuff. More excursion notes. Uh, I accidentally skipped over these pages, so now I'm just writing down favorite new songs of the month. So at the end, oop, at the end of the month, I have a list of songs that I like, and then I have movies I want to see. Here we are week 10. This was, or by the time I'm filming this, this was last week. <laughs> More excursion notes. And it's this week, which is week 12. But by the time you're watching this, I don't know what week it is. So yeah, that is my bullet journal. I really like it. Um, I just, I don't know, I just like it. And then I have more, I have a lot of pages left. In the back I just have some sticky notes. And I taped down one of these low term um, pen loops, pen holders. Then in here, oh this is like my essential. If you're asking me like why a number one bullet journal supply, it is this 
Hobonichi stencil because I use these symbols to fill in. Then I have some photos, some stickers, and stuff that I might want to use. yeah that is my bullet journal i'm gonna pull on this strap and oh yeah i also cut one of the bookmarks because i didn't need to and that is my bullet journal i'm sorry about the lighting it is still winter here <laughs> so it's not the best but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope the audio was all right i am using my microphone headphone <laughs> and okay um Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day, good evening, good night, wherever you are. If there are any questions, please leave them down below and I will answer them uh, as fast as possible, as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, talk to you soon.